Hey guys, this is Zonia. I wanted to tell you guys about something that I've been working on. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of meetup.com. I was introduced to meetup.com by a former friend of mine. And I decided recently to make my start my own meetup groups. Now what's nice about meetup groups is it fosters in-person connections. You know, with this YouTube channel, this Dead Sea Scrolls YouTube channel, and all the stuff I do online. It's wonderful, but it's heavily focused on online interactions with people. And that's great, but there's something much deeper, a deeper connection that I desire to make with people. And I don't want to just interact with people who like what I say. I also want to interact with people who maybe disagree with me on almost everything that I believe. You know, because I think it's important to help everybody. You know, the what the scripture says of how the Messiah was talking about the Samaritan who, who uh, helped the Jew who was in uh, left for dead, basically. All the other Jews ignored him, but the Samaritan didn't. Even though the Samaritan and the Jews kind of considered each other enemies and members of false religion, the Samaritan was a true neighbor, according to the Messiah. So, with that example, we can understand that it is our mission, our purpose, to do the same for other people love your neighbor as yourself, and we're told that our neighbor is anyone who is near us, whether it be of any nation, Gentile or Jew, and it doesn't matter what their religion is. If they are in need, and there's no reason not to help them, you help them. And I, when I say no reason not to help them, there are times when scripture supports the idea of people deserving death. So. You know, there you don't have to help everybody, but you have to help people who are innocent, uh, as far as you're aware, like of of major crimes. You know, so and so that that's what I'm about. It doesn't matter what religion you are. If you're a relatively good person, and even if you're not the best person, it's very good to help people when you're able and when it's practical. Uh, there are times, you know, Solomon says, time for peace and a time for war. A time to love and a time to hate. So there, I'm not saying we always gonna love everybody and be nice and happy, happy, yay. You know, I'm not saying that. But we have a mission to be a light in the world. And the light shines its light and overpowers the darkness and the light if possible leads people to truth and and goodness and so so we can help people no matter what their background is and that's what I'm my goal is in my life one of my one of my many goals and so Israel however is my ultimate uh, mission to bring them to the truth but but all the other missions are very important as well and I don't want to neglect those either so I started the meetup groups and now two of them well so one of them is just for fun but it is to foster connections and help people make friendships and soften their hearts and that's a, uh, a group about movies. In the future when I officially join the church I'm not going to participate in the movie stuff. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't be participating now but at least for now I'm of the belief that it is okay to watch movies. I'm not 100% certain on that but um, I'm leaning towards that, so that's where I am right now, but when you join the church, you got to be more holy and um, separate from 
those outside the church. So, um, but for now, I'm having that group, and that's going to help um, people come out of their shell and open up to other people, and maybe that can lead them to being interested in some of these other more important groups, or just. I plan on being, um, like, for example, getting people free popcorn and, and free pizza when they attend these movies with us as a group. And that is a gesture of kindness, and that can go a long way. That, you know, that can inspire them to do something kind to other people, and it's a ripple effect. If we are more kind to people, they will be more kind. They tend to be more kind to other people if people are treating them well. But the, so the other two groups, one is a group for broken hearts, because I was recently broken up with, and uh, it, it's been very painful for me. And But, you know, in some ways it's, it's good, because it allows me to focus on my true mission in life. But, um, see... I am of the belief that when a relationship ends, you can still be friends with the person as long as it ended on okay terms. I don't think it's fair to purposely end it on bad terms when you don't have to. Um, you can you can end it on okay terms and still be cordial and kind to one another and at peace. But right now there's no peace and there was no reason for this to be so hostile towards each other. Uh, and I'm not trying to be hostile at all, but they are just closing me out of their life. So, because people are so cruel and evil when they break up with other people, or when they cut them out of their life, they are so disgusting when they do that. They are so offensive, and I, I just feel it's, it's one of the most evil things you can do. Um, scripture speaks about if you hate someone else, that is like murder. And it truly is. When someone breaks your heart by cutting you out of your life, whether you're they're a family member, one of your really good friends, or your partner that you have been in a romantic relationship with, when they cut you out of your life, that's an act of hate. And it's justified if if you have done something to deserve being cut out. It is not justified when you did not do anything to deserve that type of treatment. So, um, because it's so harmful to society, the break, breaking up friendships and families, this is a very important issue that I want to focus on uh, to help people. Because, you know, there are some people, like, there, there, are, there are mass shooters, for example, who have decided to kill lots of people because they are depressed and people were horrible to them. So helping people in a time of darkness could actually save a lot of lives and just make the world a better, more loving place. And you know, scripture says, in the last days, the love of most will grow cold. And that is what we see today. The world is a very dark and cruel place with little love. People are very cynical of each other and they just are hateful so much and they're so quick to toss you out of their life the moment they are afraid that you will hurt them or that you will not give them what they want. So the world is a messed up evil place and I want to be a light and part of being a light is helping people in darkness and when you're broken up with or you lose a friend or family because they reject you wrongly, that makes you in darkness. You feel in bondage and darkness to your, in bondage to your emotions and everything. So coming together, supporting each other, encouraging each other and to make the right decisions and to help each other move on and just to cheer each other up. That's what the group's gonna be about. So I think that's gonna be an important group. And then finally, What's really interesting is this other group that I have made is called Pep Talk. And I decided to make a YouTube channel, a secondary YouTube channel for Pep Talk. And Pep Talk is very similar to 
the idea of TED Talks. I don't know, and I'm sure many of you guys have seen TED Talk videos. The concept is amazing, but it's very limited in, in many ways. So I wanted to create something very similar to TED Talk, but which addresses the, the flaws or insufficiencies of TED Talks. TED Talks are perfectly sufficient for what they were designed to do. They weren't designed to be a perfect a way of interacting with everybody. It's a it's a introduction. That's the way TED Talks are designed, is to introduce people to a topic and then encourage people to seek things out for themselves. That's great. Pep Talks, however, address other things than that. It wants to uh, have anybody share. Uh, the, the thing about TED Talks is you can't do a TED Talk unless you are an expert and you have been approved through a extreme nomination process. Pep Talks are different. Anyone can present. Even if you are a complete novice, you're stupid, you don't know anything about what you're talking about. You can present it. What we will do in the group is people who are attending, they can ask questions and criticize constructively. After the person presents, they can ask questions about the presentation and try to challenge what they've been saying. That allows an opportunity for dialogue, communication, hopefully in a non-hostile way, in a peaceful way that's constructive, because maybe both sides have something insightful that they can add to the table of discussion. The world is so divided, so pep talks I want I designed so that it'll bring people of different perspectives together, and then maybe through coming together we can find common ground and build each other up and help each other head towards the right direction of making the world a better place and bettering ourselves. So it's really what it's all about. And so we've already had one pep talk and it went well and we're doing another one at the end of this month. It's, it's going to be really interesting and I look forward to the many more pep talks we hopefully will do in the future. I will be uploading all the talks we do that I'm able to. Some people might not want their talk recorded, but otherwise I'm going to record it, load it to YouTube, and there's going to be some amazing, interesting things that people are going to say. Also going to be some things that maybe are not so interesting and maybe a little bit offensive, but that's okay. We can't shut ourselves off to offensive ideas because then we run the risk of of believing silly stuff ourselves. Like if we automatically reject everything else that we assume is ridiculous, then we could be really off the mark. So it's important to open ourselves up to ideas that seem ridiculous to us, even if they are completely ridiculous. Let's let's talk about it. Because if you believe something ridiculous, that's concerning to me, and I don't want you to believe that ridiculous thing. However, how am I going to get you to change your mind if we don't talk about it? We don't, and I don't hear your side, because maybe I think you're crazy for what you believe, but then when you actually talk about it and explain why you believe it, I'll be like, oh, well, I still disagree, but maybe you're not as crazy as I thought. That actually makes a little bit of sense to me. I can understand why you believe that now. And now I don't think you guys are really, like, stupid. Now I think you do ha have a point. You know, like, that's the type of constructive, uh, positive connections I want to be making for people. We got to understand why people think the way they do. Even if they're wrong, we got to understand why so we can help them. You can't help someone if you don't understand why they are in the situation they are. I mean, you can try, and sometimes it can help, but... Typically, if you don't know why, you try to help them, it's not going to work, or, excuse me, it might work for a little bit of time, and then they'll go right back into the problem again, because you didn't permanently solve the issue. You just uh, treated the symptoms, you didn't address the cause, so. Anyways, that's, that's the uh, 
basic gist of this video, my meetup groups that I've made, and definitely you guys should check out the pep talk YouTube channel. I would, I, it'd be nice if you subscribed. And if you guys, if any of you who are subscribed to my Dead Sea Scrolls channel want to participate in the pep talks, it's a in-person um, talk. So we could arrange for you to come to town at, at some point and uh, talk. We could also at some point do a conference, a pep talk conference somewhere else in the country. That is an option as well. But yeah, so I, I will have... I will have, uh, I'm going to link the pep talk channel in the suggested channels section on my, my channel page. And, uh, so that, that you'll see the pep talk channel, uh, pre presented there. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my work. I'm going to be doing more more stuff on the, on the scriptures. I, I'm working on it. And we d I did do a lot of teachings on Jubilees that I have not uploaded yet. I'm going to upload them starting today. This week it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uploaded. So, um, But we've only gone through about half of Jubilees. So there's a lot more studies we're going to be doing on, on, on the book of Jubilees. That's it for now. Thank you guys for supporting my channel, and I look forward to amazing things to come. Shalom, and God bless you guys.